Good Friday coming at you, raging hard on K W C B. We're at critical mass at this point with pop culture crap. And it's all like, seeing as like there's so much information on the end online, mm-hmm. and like you can remember these times, and someone actually like puts up previews to a VHS Disney flick on YouTube just so you can like live out these memories. And it's just like, maybe they're just supposed to stay memories at some point. Yeah. Not everything guys. is worth watching. Again. And- or a trillion times. I mean, it's understandable why you can have memories because you can't go look forward without going backwards or that all their jazz, but it's like... No, you can go forward without looking backwards. It's possible. Well, I mean, like, not knowing where you came from without that thing. I don't really need to see clips of, like, Bambi to proceed with my life. I I know, but it's not. It's like looking back at those like times. a time capsule. Yeah, that's what like I think too. Opened up. We got to learn. People have to learn when to just say like, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Oh, just let me finish. Let me get your James Brown. And like it's, it. <laughs> you go. Ah! It's like they're like, yeah. No, but it's, it's like you guys. It's like there's been so much information online everywhere to the point to where it's like we don't know what to do and we've seen that and it's been there and it's done that and by the second time it'll come around it's not good enough well you know what you guys shouldn't have asked for it yeah there go ahead and say what you have to say no i i'll just build off what you said we've hit a like i said before we hit a critical mass to the point where we have too many people's opinions some of them are just stupid some of them are just dumb like this was a girl yeah, Fuck me. and so that's that's the thing too is just some things we've we've strategically brainwashed ourselves into becoming mentally deficient. We have to we have to wiki. We say wiki now. We has oh just wiki it. What the hell does that mean? It's a verb. I'm gonna give it you guys. To I'm gonna give you guys a website to enlighten you all. It's called Maddox, M-A-D-D-O-X oh. dot X-Mission dot com. Now, X-Mission is spelled X-Mission. Um, mission? Is dot it mission com. Impossible? Yeah. F- find him. Search that out because there needs to be a little bit more honesty out there because it even starts to feel like IGN, even superhero hype sometimes, comingsoon.net, Rotten Tomatoes. It's, it all starts to get this Fox News-ish vibe. Where, at what point is it real? Because me and Carl working on the opposite end of the spectrum, there's PR agents. None of this stuff you guys are hearing is completely, completely true. You know what I mean? At some point, guys, the same conspiracy theories you put in, like, Barack Obama not being worthy to trust, put into the fact that, like, the people running industries of entertainment are not necessarily the cleanest kept people in the world either. Hell, my landlord owner, the owner of my building for my apartment's a slumlord. Right. It's like, and I'm only saying that, guys, not to kick my ass out of a potential job, but only saying that because if there's things that you do not believe or do not believe should be put out in the populace, because I come something from artist, about it, please. Right. I come from an artistic background. Me and Carl were just, we just talked about music for the last like three hours and what it means to people and, and how it drives people. And if it's not worth putting out, for someone to relate to, then just don't go. Boycott it. That's what generations used to do before we had Twitter and cell phones. People would just pick it. And we still have people picking it now, you know? It's like Right. And think about it this way, guys, in our country in the US, we use Twitter to tell people about the shit we just bought. In other countries like Iran, people used it to formulate protests. That's how backwards we are as a people. We'll complain more about the Green Lantern as opposed to what should we be complaining about about the deficit that we have in California over a governor who was having an affair on his wife? Like the the level of of what is deemed important by the populace is so wa- way off that instead of getting pissed off about the Green Lantern and people just bitching about that, we should really just be looking at everything else, and then these movies will just go away if we if we're too busy. To go watch the Green Lantern and Transformers 2 and all this other bullshit? Not really much. Right. And then it'll just all go away. That's it. 
That's why movies in the 60s were so good. Because they realized like, hey, there was crazier stuff going on at the time. So let's give people something that they can really bite into and have fun with. Like, guys, let's do something about it. Right. That's why we do this podcast today. Right. Why we talked about it. Why Good Friday number two, Good Harder, Yeah. was for you guys. Fan harder, if you will. The reason why we built Comic Book Zeros is because it, it was born out of venting frustrations of us looking at things and going like this some point some things just get too ridiculous and you have you have to move be the motivational force in your own life not wait on people to help you out me and karen have gotten this far because we didn't wait on we made the mistake of trusting in the wrong people who thinking they were going to work with us and all they're trying to do is get a foot up trying to get us to give them content for a website that they don't have we can't do that for you guys. Right. And we've been approached with that more times than you'll ever believe because we're doing it. Two guys are doing it. So we ended on a broader note that we want to leave the future of that to you guys. Right. And that we'll keep fighting our fight. But it'll be nice to know that we're not the only ones doing it. Right. This is frustrating. We have people behind us that are amazing. We have funders, potential funders that are also amazing. And it's just the fact that, like, to know that people put so much effort into certain things. To give people some sort of joy for an hour and a half a day, whenever they can pay for it or whatever. And for it to get, like, smashed and called gay and a piece of shit to quote people. It's just like, you know what, if that's the case, I wish there was that many message boards for every time a Lady Gaga song or single was released on the radio because if that was the case then you know that might help us keep checks and balances of what should be acceptable as pop culture and it's not you know but yeah guys who like Avenged Sevenfold are gonna say the Green the Green Lantern movie is gay just think about that for a second <laughs>